The Asian style Daiso Julienne can be performed on just about any major vegetable or fruit that is out there, but it's all going to start the same by cutting your vegetables on the bias as shown here. Now these bias cuts by themselves are visually appealing and can be used as well. Now to dice, you're going to simply square off that edge and then cut strips to the width that you want your finished dice to be. Much like a traditional dice, you're going to take those strips, you're going to pile them up together and then you're simply going to cross cut it. And you're going to cross cut it the same width that you did your original strips, giving you a nice uniform dice that has a little bit of an Asian flair to it. Then for the julienne, you're going to go back again, do your bias cuts. And this time I'm cutting it a little thinner because I want my julienne and the finished result to be a little bit thinner. And you're going to go down using your back to front chopping motion and good guide hand technique. Now again, you're going to take those bias cuts and you're going to shingle them out slightly. And you're going to take your knife and you're going to make sure you use that slight curvature of your knife and a rocking motion to do a rocking slice through your carrots, yielding you a nice julienne. And this is probably the easiest way to do it. And again, using good guide hand technique is very important. Now, another option is to use a back to forward chopping motion to yield your julienne. And once you get proficient in your Asian style julienne, you can speed it up by shingling and then just hitting with that sweet spot with a really rapid up and down chopping motion and you're hitting it right with the middle of your blade and this will allow you to blow through your julienne extremely quickly and get your prep done really fast.